Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a custom domain using AWS Amplify. So to date, I think this will be the simplest tutorial and it should take around two to three minutes. So I guess you have your application ready and deployed. So in my case, my React application has been deployed. So if I log on to my AWS and I go on to AWS Amplify, you should have your application deployed on AWS Amplify. And once you deploy your application on AWS Amplify, it will give you a it will give you a default URL. So in my case, the URL is this. In my case, the URL is this, and it looks very ugly. And so I want to use a custom domain registration for it. So I want to make it more neat. So the first thing you want to want, want to do is you can have your custom domain ready. You can have used a third party software, but in my case, I'm going to try to use Route 53, which is an Amazon supplied software. So go on to services and type Route 53. So again, this is only if you do not have your own custom domain set up. So there are many uh, uh, services and websites offering custom domains. So you can do this through Amazon, which is a bit more expensive. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do it. In this case, I'm not going to be buying an actual domain. So navigate to Route 53 and go on domain registration so you want a new domain so go on domain registration click get started now right so register domains i have none yet so click register domain and the, the it's just a simple process basically so you need to choose a domain name so in my case what i would have chosen is new for example new react app and dot com yep check and it's going to tell me whether it's available and available okay things which are available these are available so you just add it to cart and then you can go and buy this so click continue and then you just pay and then you buy the domain so after you buy the domain this will be your domain so i'm not going to be buying it right now so this will be a domain so the next thing again you could you could have been you could be using your own domain from another source so once you get this done, the next thing you need to do is go back to AWS Amplify. AWS Amplify. Oops. And wait for it. And right. So if you look at it, uh, this is my application. So click on it. And click on domain management on the left hand side you should have in your app settings domain management click, click on it and right so this is your domain for now and this is your url so what you want to do now is you want to add domain right click on add domain right so once you get over here you need to give the name or the enter your root domain so normally if you have if i just if you registered using amazon route 53 in my case it was my new react app.com normally when you start typing it it should appear if you use route 53 but if you haven't used route 53 and if you use another software then you just have to just copy and paste the, your domain your bought domain from that software into this just copy and paste into this and click configure and once you click configure it's just going to show you a domain your domain name and if whether you want to create uh, subdomains but for now you don't need subdomains so again once you have this ready all you need to do is click save and in 24 hours your ssl certificates uh, should be verified and certified and your proper url should be running nicely so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next tutorial